Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry. Today we're going to be working on one more of those workshops that I did in the past when I was teaching how to do the workshops but I didn't have the photos available. We're going to go through and put the photos on these layouts and show you what to do if you are at a class or you just start in the mood to scrapbook with photos but you want to get some scrapbooking done. So most of you know that I used to be a close to my heart consultant and when I was a consultant I had a certain time frame that I had to complete certain packs of paper to showcase them to you and do them early enough in the month to where you had time to order the paper if you enjoyed it. So that meant a lot of the times I didn't have photos available when I was trying to teach it. I didn't have the right ones to fit the moment. So I would use photo placement cards to mark where the photos go in the future. Well, this is a great way to scrapbook if you need to travel light or you're in a hurry or you just, you know, you've only got a little bit of time with a certain group of friends. Let's just throw some scrapbooking stuff together. And you don't want to have to worry about color and photos and whatnot. You can just play. And then you can go back later when you find the perfect photos. And I've always found the perfect photos when I scrapbook like this. I've always gone back and been able to find the perfect photos. Then you can just go in and pop your photos where they go. Today I'm going to be using some more of the Close to My Heart Convention photos. And I'm going to be... I think that one goes there. There, there. There's good. Okay. And I'm going to be not making very many changes on this at all. I'm just going to really be popping the photos on because the way it looks the, as is looks good to me. So I'm not going to make many changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of get this under there. I can't. I did. Okay, cool. Then I don't need to trim this one. I do need to go get some tape. Now to make this easier for me, because I'm going to have to slide this photo under a couple of things, I'm going to just put the adhesive on this. And that will afford me a little bit of time to get this positioned where I need it. Unless I drop it. Like I just did. There we go. And then just pop it in right there. Okay. And then for this one, well, that was a moot point. Okay. Nope, that'll work. That will work because for this one, I'm going to do this. So if you haven't been to a Close to My Heart convention, if you're not a consultant, or you do not understand why we clamor to go to these things, it is a... Ooh, that might work. Nope, that's not going to work. So I'm going to just pop you up here. Like that. And I'll do something there. It is an annual gathering of consultants where we learn what the new products are going to be for the following year 
and then we also learn how to use them. So this is kind of a showcase of everybody in the classes learning how to, how to use the new products. Oh my goodness, it is so much fun, it's not even funny. Okay, so for this one I need this and this. Scoot you off to the side for a second. Now, the one thing I didn't enjoy about this convention, it was the first time I was at Coronado Springs. And this hotel is a maze. And we almost could not find our room. And to make matters worse, I was hungry. And I had to go to the bathroom. And man, I almost just knocked on somebody's door and went, can I borrow your bathroom? Because we didn't even know we were in the right building. That's, that's how much of a maze this poor thing was. I did not enjoy finding my room. Once I did, it was a great room. But I did not enjoy finding my room. And you, if anybody that knows me in real life knows that I get pretty grumpy if I'm lost and I'm hungry. And if I have to go potty, it's even worse. So I'm, I'm like a toddler when it comes to that. <laughs> now, if we get lost and I've got a picnic basket full of food and we've got gas in the car and nobody has to pee, we're good. I can, I can get lost with the best of them, but boy, I can turn into a toddler quick. And I know that about myself. So this is the shell. I want to keep that one front and center. Such a lovely woman. She was a consultant for, I want to say 25 years. And then she got hired at corporate to go work in the corporate office. And we miss her terribly. Oh, I know what I did. Oh. All right. Really? Okay, I normally don't have this kind of problem, but I guess I had a brain fart when playing with these papers. Nice crease in my photo. That's good. Okay, well, hopefully, the. Did I do it on this side too? No, I was smart on that side. the adhesive will help take the crease out of that photo. Okay, well for most of these I made it to where you can just slide a photo under. But for that one I had a bit of a brain fart, so. So here are the photos side by side. 
or the layout side by side. And then just ignore the crease. There's nothing I can do about it. I could trim it down, but nah, we're good. And there you go. Thank you so much for spending just a moment of your time with me today. Hopefully, you learned from my mistake. Be careful where you put your adhesive whenever you're pre-doing layouts because it can bite you in the butt later on. I must have been tired when I was filming this one or I never would have put the adhesive right there. I understand that there are a thousand and one things that you could be doing and I am very thankful that you chose to spend just a few minutes of your day with me. Until next time, bye-bye.